who is used to spending all that time in the sunshine in Benidorm, is Sherry Hughes. Thank you. 38 degrees it is out yeah, there. Welcome back. It's Thank been a you. While. I loved it. It was fantastic. Oh, look. Um, Joy's Temple Savage. How many months were you there? Lovely. Four and a half months it Four takes to film it. And it's wow. been absolutely fantastic. I can't tell you the stories, I'd have to kill you. But um, it has been absolutely fantastic. We've had a wonderful time out there. It comes out in January and it just. Honest to God, I've never laughed so much in all my life. I wish I could tell you some things, but I can't. But anyway, I'll never, tell you never. What, though, I bet you saw some sights out there. Didn't well, the thing is, <laughs> Come on, Benidorm, now, the thing is, do you know what? Women go over there. I mean, people say to me, oh, you, you're in Benidorm all that time. Surely you can find a man. Well, it's not like that over there. <laughs> have any of you been? Yes, I'm sure you have. But, sh <laughs> but Sherry, apparently, one in four Brits, when they, you know, when they go away and they're somewhere hot, and lots of people go to Benidorm, they do. They they have a, a holiday romance. They How do have holiday didn't romances. Um, and you know, it's not what you think. It's not the young ones. It's the older ones. They all go out there looking for love, you know, and they all. Uh, the, the Shirley Valentine. Sh it is a Shirley Valentine thing. But you know, when you're approached Aww. by. Um, Aww. Aww. That was great, wasn't it? Oh, that film. Gosh. Anyway, uh, when you see... <laughs> I can't That's be doing with this. <laughs> um, but when you see... When, like, 20-year-olds or 25-year-olds come up to somebody like me and go, oh, you know, uh, would you like to go out for a drink? You go, oh, I know what you're after. You know the type? They think they're going to get... Money. It's your money they're after. <laughs> well, they're pretty lucky. <laughs> um, they want, you know, they, they go, oh, I'd love to come to England, I'd love to, you know, I want to work in England. And you think... How many women fall for that? Yeah. How many women fall for those guys over there because they're flattered? I'm flattered, but I'm not stupid enough to know that they don't want well, me. I know, do they? but the thing is, um, I had a letter recently about this um, in my problem page, and this woman had met a guy on holiday, and he was um, a rep over there, married with three kids, he was but promising her the earth and I'm leaving my wife and kids. Oh and when my she got goodness. home, she's, you know, she has stayed in contact with him online and all of that. And I'm going back and um, obviously he's going to show me around the island. I have to pay for it. <gasps> and um, <laughs> do you think this can possibly, you know, work? And of course I see no. her going, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, no I, your friend! <laughs> But you know, know it is hard. quite. It's quite. I feel sorry though because um, some women go over there really expecting that they will find love, yeah. and that when somebody and some does come, do, and they do, fair. they do. Mm. You know, we know somebody, don't we? We do. Do you know one one of the very lovely people who who works here with us was telling us this morning that yeah. actually that's how his mum and dad met. His dad was a was a waiter. His mum was over there on holiday when she was a lot younger, and then kept going back year after year with her parents. And now forty six years married, they're yeah. still oh. they're still together. <laughs> bad experience. I thought it was great at the time, mind you. The very, very first holiday I ever had out of uh, Ireland was to Mallorca. And in those, we'd no money at all. And we didn't know anybody went to Spain and Mallorca. And so, big deal for me. And I fell hook, line and sinker for this very tall American guy who admittedly had his mother with him and was showing her around the island and took me along and I thought it was marvellous. Turned out to be gay. <laughs> <laughs> what did I know coming from Northern Ireland? 